Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie The Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie is an experimental stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, designed and built by Kratos Defense and Security Solutions for the United States Air Force's low-cost attritable strike demonstrator, LOCUST, program, under the USAF Research Laboratory's low-cost attritable aircraft technology, LOCOT, project portfolio. It was initially designated the XQ-222. The Valkyrie completed its first flight on March 5, 2019 at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona. Development and Design A XQ-58 Valkyrie deploys an Altius 600 unmanned aircraft system. The XQ-58 Valkyrie fell within the USAF Research Laboratory's low-cost attritable aircraft technology, WCOT, portfolio, whose objectives included designing and building unmanned combat aerial vehicles, UCAVs, faster, by developing better design tools and maturing and using commercial manufacturing processes to reduce production time and cost. Volcott was to escort the F-22 or F-35 during combat missions and to deploy weapons or surveillance systems. The Volcott was eventually turned into the Offboard Sensing Station OBSS, program, which Kratos was awarded a contract for in 2021 but lost out to General Atomics in 2023, which developed the XQ-67A. The USAF determined the XQ-58 airframe was too small to meet the requirements of the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program. The XQ-58 is designed to act as a loyal wingman that is controlled by parent aircraft to accomplish tasks such as scouting, defensive fire, or absorbing enemy fire. It features stealth technology with a trapezoidal fuselage with a chined edge, V-tail, and an S-shaped air intake. The XQ-58 can operate as part of a swarm of drones, with or without direct pilot control. The XQ-58 can make conventional takeoffs and landings or be launched from nondescript launch modules, such as support ships, shipping containers, and semi-trailer trucks. Kratos officials have said the company could produce 250 to 500 Valkyries per year. It can be produced at a unit cost of $4 million at an annual production rate of 50 aircraft and possibly for less than $2 million if over 100 airframes are built per year. Operational History The XQ-58's first flight took place on March 5, 2019, about two and a half years after Kratos received the contract. Five test flights were planned in two phases to evaluate system functionality, aerodynamic performance, and launch and recovery systems. On July 23, 2020, the Air Force gave contracts to Kratos, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and General Atomics to compete for the Skyborg program, an effort to field an unmanned wingman for manned fighters, at a price that makes it somewhat expendable. Northrop was eliminated in December 2020. Kratos, Boeing, and General Atomics delivered their entries by May 2021 for flight tests in July 2021. In March 2021, the XQ-58A completed its sixth test flight, opening the doors of its internal weapons bay for the first time and releasing a 27 pounds, 12 kilograms, Area I Altius 600 Small Unmanned Aircraft System UAS. In August 2023, a report with picture showed the XQ-58A in formation with an F-15E Strike Eagle from the 96th Test Wing's 40th Flight Test Squadron at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida. In December 2022, the United States Marine Corps ordered two XQ-58s for testing under the Marine Corps Penetrating Affordable Autonomous Collaborative Killer Portfolio PAC-P, program and conducted first test flights at Eglin Air Force Base in October 2023. In January 2023 the United States Navy ordered two XQ-58s for tests similar to those being undertaken by the Marines. On April 2, 2024, Kratos made a press release concerning an XQ-58 test with electronic warfare equipment, where it also mentioned the MQ-58B model. The MQ-58B, which is intended to fulfill the role of suppression of enemy air defenses, or C is one of at least five variants of the XQ-58 under development by Kratos. This news comes alongside an announcement that the future variants of the Valkyrie will include underwing hardpoints for munitions, where a rendering of an XQ-58 was shown with two underwing hardpoints, each carrying an AIM-120 AMROM variants. XQ-58A, original prototype variant being tested with the branches of the US military. MQ-58B, an electronic attack version intended for production and service currently under development for the United States Marine Corps. It is intended for use in the seed role as a collaborative combat aircraft, to be operated alongside USMC F-35s. Operators, United States of America, United States Air Force, United States Marine Corps, United States Navy Specifications General Characteristics Capacity Internal 600 pounds 272 kilograms External 600 pounds 272 kilograms Length 30 feet 
9.1 meters, wingspan, 27 feet, 8.2 meters, empty weight, 2,500 pounds, 1,134 kilograms, max takeoff weight, 6,000 pounds, 2,722 kilograms, power plant, 1 times Williams FJ33 turbofan, 2,000 lbf, 8.9 kilonewtons, thrust, performance, maximum speed, 566 knots, 651 miles per hour, 1,048 kilometers per hour, cruise speed, 476 knots, 548 miles per hour, 882 kilometers per hour, range, 3,000 nautical miles, 3,500 miles, 5,600 kilometers, approximate, service ceiling, 45,000 feet, 14,000 meters, armament, up to 600 pounds, 270 kilograms, in internal weapons bay, up to 600 pounds, 270 kilograms, on midwing hardpoints. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to War Machine Corp for more videos on military science and technology.